can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. So I forgot to make an intro in this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. I just wanna give a huge special shout out to everybody who's purchased a decal. You guys have been absolutely killing it. You guys don't know how much this stuff actually helps and supports the channel. So shout out to everyone right there. Thank you guys so much. If you guys like to cop a decal, be shout out in the next video. Make sure to check out that link down below. Without further ado, let's jump back into the video. Good morning, guys. Now, if this isn't a beaut, I don't know what it is. Holy shit, this is my car, dude. What the hell? So something I've been meaning to put on is some tags. I'm really not trying to get pulled over. This thing's been expired for about like a month and a half now. So let's go ahead and put on some new tags. And just like that, now we're 2020. It's so nice. I was over here about to get some parts, but it looks like they're closed on Sundays. That sucks. It's only 1 p.m. too. What the heck? Guys, is that beast for build? Legit, what is going on here? All right, guys, we are here at the shop. What's shaking bacon? What's shaking the baby? My little babies. So anyways, we are here looking at my brother's car today. So what's wrong with your car? Yeah, what's go other than the damage here, what's going on here? We have a lot on our plate right now. So we already contacted the body shop and they're trying to give us a quote about how they're gonna pull out the frame, how they're gonna take out the radio support. Uh, so we have to leave just everything intact. The only thing we can do to work on the car is uh, just figure out why it's misfiring. Figure out uh, if it's a spark plug, figure out if this, it's the ignition coils. We just need a, uh, you know, uh, try to diagnose the issue and we'll start working on that today. So you guys heard the man We're gonna be trying to figure out what's going on uh, with the misfiring So as soon as you turn it on it's misfire is like crazy. So let's go ahead figure out if it's spark plug ignition um, Could be something else. I'm not really too sure because it, it could be a valve cover gasket It could be a lot of things So we're gonna go ahead figure out what's going on with it mechanically So we can at least get the car to be in running order So we can drive it onto the trailer drive it into the shop and all that good stuff without knowing that we're not doing any harm to the car So let's go ahead and start working on that and miss 128 just wanted to say hello I got a few of you guys that said this new color is ugly. I need y'all to calm the hell down. This is the most gorgeous color. When I, when I host a car meet, hopefully we hit 100K. You guys, when we see this in person, you guys are not gonna believe it. Like, in whoever that's saying this looks ugly, I need you just to click off right now. I don't, I just, just click off. These people drifting over there. Anywho, 128 is out. Let's go ahead and start working on my brother's car. At this point, uh, we got pretty much the whole pillow fully exposed for the body shop. We cut it right here. So for the most part, it's good. I, like we can honestly just cut it off ourselves, but it is a small little gouge right here that's coming outward. So when they line it up, I'm gonna tell them to hammer that in and then cut it so everything is perfect. I'm so happy the damage did not go as far back as over here because if it went far back as over here, you'd have to replace this entire thing. Fin number is here. I don't know how that stuff works. So luckily, we took a gamble on this, but um, you guys knew that we were able to at least see a kind of lightweight in there and I knew it wasn't too far back. So that's pretty good. We got the fender off, so we're gonna throw that away. My brother's probably gonna upgrade those turn signals, so we're probably never gonna use those turn signals. So now we're just gonna go ahead and turn on the car and see what's going on. Uh, I, just wanna, I just wanna show you guys how it sounds right now. All right, yeah, I was gonna give you guys a quick little start up. Here how this thing sounds, my lord. How's the idle? Over a thousand. I don't know if you guys see my hand, but the car is shaking. Yeah, you guys see my hand shaking right now? Yeah, not shaking, hella. All right, turn it off. So just something that we ordered anyways, we wanna do the spark plugs regardless. Let's go ahead and replace all the spark plugs. And then if we're still having a rough idle, it's most likely ignition coils. But as we're removing the spark plugs, we're gonna check if there's any oil in there. So let's get to it. Let's check it out. Guys, what is going on here? Oh my god. This is a mess. Okay, well, let's just hope underneath all these things. I mean, look at this thing. What is this? This is disgusting. I think what needs to happen here is a full engine detail. I think Joth is gonna be helping out with that pretty close into the future. Thing is, we're gonna have to get this car to the shop. I know with the body shop, it's gonna get really dirty and stuff, so we're not gonna do it just yet. It's gonna wait until this frame gets fixed, and once this frame gets fixed, go ahead, detail the whole engine bay, and start piecing this car back together, because this, this is disgusting. Anyways, let's just put in some new spark plugs. Oh 
of them have like gunk in there. Ah. See, I told you guys those ignition coils look bad. They just look terrible. I don't even know if I want to reuse them on the new spark plugs. Let me know, guys, is like, what, like all these spark plugs, I don't know if you guys can see, every single one of these spark plugs have like gunk. Every single one. I don't know why. Maybe that's because the ignition coils are just super bad. These spark plugs don't look like they've been in there for maybe 20 or 30,000 miles. They don't look too bad. I'm pretty sure I need a new ignition coils. Let me know why this happened right here, guys. If any of you guys are mechanics, let me know. All new spark plugs are in, so we're good to go on that. I don't want to put in these ignition coils. Let's go ahead and try to find some good ones, some new ones or anything like that, even used ones. I just want, these are disgusting. Like, look at these tips. So the Yaw is actually cleaning up each individual ignition coil with some brake cleaner. Apparently, they put some kind of like lubricant to help it connect better or something like that. Our line just came over, <laughs> so he's helping us out right now. And uh, <laughs> that's his, uh, his brother, right? Bigger brother. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, pretty much, uh, he already gave us a hint, so we just have to clean those out and hopefully they work. Huh. Since this is Solive, um, the car is gonna be covered under warranty, so if, if we get a misfire, we're just gonna take it to BMW and have it fix a BMW. Why deal with it if it's free? By the way, guys, so Erlan used to work at BMW, so he knows what he's saying. Do you know the sensor shaft sensor? You know on top, on top of the valve cover? Yeah. If that gets oil in it, they'll replace it and replace the valve cover gasket. If you get a crack in the valve cover, they'll replace the valve cover and the gasket. They told me they if you're, But yeah, he had a crack in the valve cover and didn't replace it. You see, it depends on what code, but like, so if you, like yours was like, you cracked it, right? It was cracked. It was cracked, so yeah. you could have fought for it a little more and they would have gave it to you, but I think they screwed you over. Plus, I didn't know as much by then, you know, but like. Yeah, because I was a scared little kid. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. please. Oh, so but, now you know, okay. And they have Vano solenoids. You know, I mean, the, the Vano's units. Yeah. Those bolts shear off and then the engine doesn't start because the bolts shear right off. And they replace that. If the, if the bolt causes any damage to the engine, they replace the whole engine. Dang. You get a misfire, they replace your ignition so coils and your spark plugs. I'm keeping that car forever. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, you have to 150K. <laughs> so anyways, guys, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put the ignition coils pack and see if we're gonna have any misfires. If there is, we'll just take it to BMW after we get the whole front end reassembled. Because why spend money on it if you could actually if you could actually get it done for free? You know, like, be smart about it. So shout out to Erlon for actually informing me about that. I knew, I thought they just replaced like valve covers and stuff like that, but apparently if any reason has a check engine light, BMW will cover it up to 150,000 mile warranty, clean title salvage, it doesn't matter. So that's super sick. After the office is cleaning up all these uh, ignition coils, we're gonna go ahead and install them all. Are they done or? We're good. We're good. All of them? Let's, let's, it let's get it, let's get it. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. And uh, <laughs> in the brotherly love. So we just put in the ignition coils back in there and then we also put in all new spark plugs. These are the original ignition coils, so if we start misfiring, hopefully we can run the code. What I'm gonna do first is first clear the codes and then turn on the car. So uh, hopefully this is uh, this is better. So we already cleared the codes, so we're just gonna start the car. All right, here you go, guys. It's idling pretty well. It's not bad, actually. It's shaking. All right, check engine. All right, guys, check engine came back on. After placing the spark plugs, you have two faults, misfire and cylinder two. Anyways, cylinder two is misfiring. Luckily, Erlan has a coal in his car because of his road trip, so shout out to him. Let's go ahead and just replace cylinder two and hopefully we won't have this error anymore. Right now, we're just gonna replace this stupid ignition coil. Let's do it, yeah. Pull it out, big boy. Can you do it, happy boy? Yes, sir. Oh, we can even see there's a crack on that one too. Oh, shoot, you're right. That one's terrible. By the way, guys, uh, my brother's not wearing gloves. I'm the good boy. I'm wearing gloves now. See, look at me. So, uh, <laughs> a lot of people have been uh, telling me to take care of my hands, so I will. You need a vanilla solenoid, an injector. Ooh, nice. All right. Okay. Camshaft sensor. Okay. What else you got here, buddy? Or a relay. Why do you need a bolt? Or an OBD trooper cap. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you, actually, you pull over for this. <laughs> Here's one coil. Cool. cool. Did we put this in right? Two coils. Huh? Nah, you're just getting ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, guys, he brought all this on his road trip. He's gonna be driving back to Texas in a, tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow. 1,600 miles. You excited? <laughs> oh, man, dude. All right, look at Coco. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> What's gone? Ready? Oh, yeah. For real, I can feel it. What the hell? 
Seems pretty damn healthy to me. Cool, so let's go ahead and just clear the codes, guys, and uh, we're not gonna run it anymore, but we are good to go to drive it onto the trailer. All right, guys, so Erlon's going back to Texas. I don't know if you guys saw the beginning of this video. I'm gonna throw in a few clips right now. I'm gonna throw in a few clips right now what we did like a couple days ago, I didn't want to upload it. So we ended up getting the A-pillar, then we ended up meeting with Erlon and Jonathan. We got the, all the, the one series together. I think that was super sick. So yeah, here's a clip of uh, us getting the A-pillar. So we just cut that off and uh, there we go. We have the whole A-pillar. The only problem is you can see that this has clearly been repainted up here. So we're gonna either try to see if we can paint the same color as this or we can sand that off. So hopefully we can just sand it off. Yeah, hopefully they can weld it, make it look as seamless as possible. But uh, we'll just see. And here's another clip of us actually meeting up with our line, putting all in one series next to each other. We all went from the E90 chassis to the E80 chassis, which is super dope. Anyways, our line is heading back to Texas, unfortunately. If you guys are enjoying these kinds of videos, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.